In this video, we will be showing you how to replace a rotor bearing on a 900 or 1100 series brush mulcher. If you are replacing the bearing on the belt chamber side, you will need to remove the belt and also the pulley and taper hub on the rotor shaft. However, you will have direct access to the other bearing on the opposite side of the rotor. You may want to watch our belt installation video to get an idea of how to remove the belt assembly. First, make sure to put support under the rotor so that the frame is hung up slightly, just enough for you to be able to get a pry bar underneath the skis. Next, remove the grease line by loosening this nut. You may want to tie the line up if it gets in your way. Remove any spacers on the shaft and then remove these four bolts. Then with the pry bar, pry the rotor away from the bearing and then pry it back towards the bearing. This will give you space behind the bearing to pry it off the shaft. Put the pry bar under the skis and wiggle it while another person wiggles the bearing off. Remove the grease fitting from the old bearing and install it on the new one. Then you can install the new bearing. But first, you will want to pry the rotor back away from the bearing in order for the bearing to not bottom out on the shaft while tightening the bolts. You may need to wiggle the pry bar under the skis in order for the bearing to slide back on. Make sure to turn the bearing if needed so that the grease fitting is in the same place as it was on the previous bearing. You can then tighten the bolts, and you will want to torque these bolts to 80 foot-pounds with a torque wrench. You can then attach the grease line again. Before reinstalling the belt assembly, make sure to pry the rotor all the way towards the belt chamber. Watch our belt assembly video for further instructions. Also, before starting the taper hub bolt, make sure to sand the ends of the bolts down a bit to prevent stripping threads. 